mean, the best way to describe medicine is, is in terms of its philosophy, it's relatively straightforward. It's pattern recognition and how to fix a pattern. Unfortunately, for every subspecialty, and there's at least two to 300,000 patterns that you actually have to recognize. One of my favorite sayings when I started medical school is, half of what we're about to teach you is wrong. The problem is, is we don't know which half. It's almost impossible to uh, retain all of those patterns and how to recognize them and how to fix them. And instead, what most medical school curriculums are moving towards, and Vanderbilt's is really at the forefront of this, is more to teach you how to think. So we've had a research component in the curriculum for quite some time, but it was, it was different. It was in the beginning of medical school. People had this really intense 10-week experience. It wasn't spread throughout the entire curriculum. So we've totally changed that now so that students begin engaging in a four-year research curriculum from the day they arrive. And what we're finding is that students resonate much more with the research experience because they're learning it in context. My project um, was titled Youth and Parent Perspectives on Barriers to Gender Affirming Healthcare for Transgender Youth, which is a long title. <laughs> um, but basically what I did was ask transgender kids and their parents, what was your experience trying to get hormones and blockers? And what was that like for you? And it's so funny how you know the participants think that you're an expert when you're just starting out. This project boosted my confidence in ways that I could never have imagined. Then after writing my own paper, directing my own research team, presenting my project independently at conferences, I mean, I just came away thinking that I can do anything that I want. It really is trying to introduce a culture change in the way we view the role of the physician. Uh, physicians are going to be in a position of dealing with this stream of knowledge the volume and the intensity of that is going to be great. We hope that by training students to be adept in that type of environment and to excel in that kind of environment, that they'll become the leaders who will be helping others as they sort through that information. 